Hello, welcome along to LS11. It's the annoying international break. I know, I know. But we finally got our hands on FIFA 18, everyone. Woo! It's finally arrived. Thanks, Yay. EA, for sending us an early copy. It came a week later than FIFA Friday came. But uh, it's Tom Maguire, Tom Cardiff. Uh, Tom, how are you? Good. Good. It's been a while since I've done one of these, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's been a so while. Today, we're going actually with Leeds United versus Leeds United. Yeah. We want to look at, obviously, the squad, what the FIFA ranks the current team at. Yeah. Uh, so we thought we'll do Leeds v Leeds, then we can mess around with it a bit, use different players and all that, and just have a jolly good time. We wanted to also to kind of look into the stats of things. Yes. So these are our sort of, well, our starting 11s of what we think have been maybe the best Leeds t uh, people so far. Yeah, it's what he's so used the most, isn't it? I'm on the left, you're on the right, I'm so the right, I'm white, yeah. you're black. Yes. And then, so we've both gone with Lasaga at top. Yeah, I might change it round, but this is obviously the, the, the set Lasaga up front. Been all right since he's come in and he yeah. works hard. Um, Had a baby. Yeah, yeah I mean, not what, him personally, but what, yeah. a, what a few weeks it's been. Uh, a little lower than his stats last time, actually. Um, I think he's about 76, 77. So obviously recognised the drop down in the league uh, and brought him down a bit. But looks good, finishing looks good, heading actually. All you want, shot power's good, all you want in a striker, isn't it, really? I think his aggression so, it does match what we've seen so far. Yeah, really. that That's seems quite, quite a realistic one. Apparently he's injury prone. I can weirdly I hope Leeds see fans that. Don't think yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that's pretty good. So, um, so yeah. I think that's that's fair. Obviously says I think they need to update his photo, first off. His yeah. man's got hair now. Yeah, they, and they it's haven't, a, have they? Just used the same one. Quite nice hair as well. Um the man's got some of the best agility in the in in the FIFA oh sorry, in the Leeds team, so you'd yes. hope that it would be matched. Maybe not so much. I thought he'd have a bit more there. Yeah, potentially. I'm just looking at the photos. Lasaga, Saiz, Hernandez, Alioski, <laughs> Very uh, old. Ailing. But have you noticed that, for instance, like Vival, those, they've all got their old ones, but yeah, Cooper, Janssen, okay. Those are from like the shirts, uh, yeah. the shirt launch. And you know, like when Berardi, the, the Berardi well. one, where it's like, oh, you, you're going to use that picture to sell tickets, you'll, be, you'll sell tickets. But it's yeah. like also where you can see basically Janssen's aortic valve. It's like <laughs> Ailing's got like a new photo, but he hasn't on the game. So it's a weird one, but yeah, size. So his ball control's pretty good. His dribbling's very good. I think that's fair. And size has been fantastic the start for the start of the season. To be fair, yeah. Alioski's got a bit of pace on him looking at him, but size has been yeah um, a, a key part and rightly so. Um, got decent movement as we come to expect. Alioski decent dribbling. Long shot taker as we saw at the long. Yeah, uh, the long shots Forest. are probably quite uh, quite good. Same with shot power. Um, so yeah. It, it, it's quite realistic in that one and you imagine he is a rubbish goalkeeper so I can see that hit back for me so this is where we start to get a bit different I've gone for Roof on the left yeah I know lots of people have wanted to play him up front and uh, in the more central role but I've gone with Roof yeah Are you making a change now yeah I'm just making changes as we go along okay well I went for Roof <laughs> um, I thought he'd be a little bit more yeah, I mean, he didn't have the highest goal scoring record last season, but I thought he'd have a little bit more. He just seems to just be a bit of an all rounder, not a, a fantastic, amazing one. Because if he was, he'd be in the Premier League. His pace is there. Yeah, he just enough. seems to be able to slot in where needed and occasionally do a job. I think he's just trying to find where he actually his position is, which Leeds have struggled with since he started. Well, you went with Pablo. I went with Pablo. Um, because the ball control there, it's decent, as we come to expect. Everything's there with him. Uh, acceleration's quite good. His sprint speed isn't, but we know he can move a bit. Um, How's his passing? His passing. Well, his crossing's okay. His long pass, 69, Curve. come to expect that. Short pass, 70. So it's... Free quite, kick accuracy of 77, not too bad. That's quite a realistic one. Traits, um, yeah, flair, definitely. technical dribbler, so yeah. you can understand that. Good skill moves. No surprise whatsoever. Right, now you just made a change, but I went for O'Kane and Phillips. Yeah, I've gone O'Kane and Vieira. Yeah, so we'll start with O'Kane. Yes. Um, O'Kane, it seems to me like a sort of, since Christensen's come in, I'm moving too fast to remind. Um, since Christensen comes in, it seems O'Kane has, has kind of found his feet a wee bit more. A little bit, yeah. He's obviously, his stats are down at the moment because... It's taken it from the Sheffield Wednesday game where he played with his broken <laughs> rib or whatever it was yeah, on yeah. He was rubbish. So he's a bit down at the moment. But you can see the areas where he's 
decent or better in his ball control, his dribbling. Yeah. That's what we expect from him, really short pass, that typical midfielder, got a good bit of movement around him as well. So, yeah, again, quite quite realistic for uh, for Union O'Kane. Uh, we'll go on to Vieira then, your choice. Yes, Vieira. Um, yeah, clearly, like obviously he's a, a young talent and we've, we've been able to see some of the great skills he's got. Yes. Um, pretty solid, to be fair, for a 69. Yeah, he's good, isn't it? Look, his movement, in terms of you know this uh, physical kind of build up of him, is quite accurate. We know he can move around a bit, can get around the get around the pitch. His stats, again, a bit like O'Kane, are, are high in the, what they should be: his ball control, his short pass, um, his tackling. I think it's quite high as well because you think he can get stuck in. He's not afraid to can throw in some good tackles as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, finishing a bit lower because. You know, apart from that goal at Norwich and the penalty against oh, Norwich yeah. at yeah, home, yeah, he course, doesn't yeah. really no, no. get himself in positions to score. But yeah, um, again, a good one. And for me, a player they're managing more at the start of this season, and I reckon we'll start seeing more after the international break. Let's move on to my other central midfielder. I went for Calvin Phillips, of yes. course. Very young. Apparently, he's a long shot taker. I don't know. If there's been a, maybe yeah, I can a see bit. that. Yeah. I can see that. Um, Again, pretty solid stats, not too bad. Of course, he's not going to be too amazing with his tackling and his sort of defensive efforts, but not too bad it's more for a youngster. Built for defensive, isn't it? Because he's yeah. more of a defensive... Obviously, he's a defensive midfielder there, but he's more yeah. built to be that defensive sweep-up role type midfielder. Yeah. And now we've gone for the same four at the back. Yeah. Starting with yeah. Berardi. <coughs> Sorry. Obviously. Berardi. Obviously. Well, there's nothing else to say. Uh, one uh, of the best tweets that we've sent out on Leeds United Live <laughs> this season so far has to be... Um, there was pictures of the Leeds team arriving at Hillsborough and just Berardi getting off the bus looked like a man who was just like wearing a Versace. He, looked, he made a Leeds tracksuit look like a Versace tracksuit or something. He yeah, just looked he's, fantastic. He can, you know. So, you know. His aggression, I mean, 89. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? The man who got it? sent off in his first game for Leeds. Uh, by two foot in someone in the chest. More interestingly, Berardi's a left back this year. Yeah. So FIFA have obviously now recognised the fact he, even though he is a right back, he's just playing more at left back for Leeds. Injury prone. Uh, uh, fair. Yeah, he has had his injuries in the. Uh, so he can obviously play now left back, right back as before. Whereas before it was right back, left back. Yeah, when it's yeah. they've identified, I think he's more primarily now a left back for Leeds. But again, it's more in his movement and it is jumping, his aggression. Yeah, he's definitely got, his often. jumping's fantastic. Stamina, that's a big one as well. So. Yeah, realistic. Moving on to Cooper, man reinvigorated, uh, captain of course, Leeds, and uh, apart from the sending off, yeah, which uh, was pretty stupid. pretty good start to the season. His uh, not much aggression as I thought he would have. To be fair, in this game, uh, jumping's good. I think if yeah. anything, his jumping could be even higher because at times him and Jansen have been clearing crosses left, right, and centre. Yeah. Um, not too bad. Yeah. I say he's tackling 70 70 on slide stands. Yeah. Expecting that obviously with a defender. Decent enough, good head accuracy, so he can be a decent enough threat yeah, from corners. Yeah. Moving on to the main man, Pontus Janssen. Yes, the highest um, rated Leeds player. Yeah, so aggression of 80. Thought that'd be more, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. Um, Strength, though. Attacking position. The, the man who scores a few headers as well, let's not forget. I suppose they're from corners, isn't they? Uh, fair point, If it's from yeah. open play, then maybe. 90 strength. That's what wow. I mean. The strength is uh, quite big. You're looking at his skills. Uh, marking, obviously, heading accuracy, high. His tackling seems immense on it. So, um, as suggested, he leads his best player on the stats. And you can't really disagree. Can you at the moment? No. So that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And finally, Strength and uh, this, power header. Yeah, the, the same uh, right back that we've gone for, um, Ailing. Just he's been very, very consistent. Yeah, very consistent. His movement's good, isn't it? Uh, as reflected again on the game, you're looking at his sprint speed, stamina. Obviously, he, you know he can go for the full ninety minutes, no issue there whatsoever. Um, good composure. I quite like that because I find him to be quite composed at times. When Leeds are under the cosh of it, he's your call head that's coming through it. Um, and yeah, you're looking at his crossing, 65, I think that's fair enough. He likes to get forward and he cross the ball in. Yeah, and I, I, likes like to his, overlap. His engine spe uh, specialty there, <laughs> I kind of can't argue with that. Yeah, that's fair enough. I've Now, this is where we've gone for a little bit of a different choice. Now, in the net, you've gone Viedvold. Now, no offence, Viedvold has had okay periods of the game but in terms of an impact yes Lonergan was better for me 
That's why I chose Lon- Lonergan. I've gone for Viedval purely because he is um, Leeds is number one. Um, he he is the starting goalkeeper. Uh, he has come under some criticism, which I think is fair enough. I think it is fair enough because he's it's the, it's the first major tests he's had, Tom. Yeah, and it's re- it reflects in his stats. You're looking at reflexes. We know he's quite a good shot stopper, but it's his handling that's the issue. It says they're cautious with co- crosses on his traits, which we know about. He's very kind of a bit scared at times it seems to go forward and challenge so yeah I've gone for Felix uh, I think I'll mix it up properly before we get into the game a bit just so we've got a bit of variation yeah. but um, but yeah I, I think for me Felix on this anyway he's played most of the season so I'm going to start Okay, really quickly let's uh, have a look at for instance Dallas um, technical dribbler that's fair enough uh, I think his sprint speed is a little bit less than I expected great stamina well pretty decent stamina Acceleration, I don't know, but that overall, I don't have any issues with that. Yeah, like I said, technical um, dribbling, yeah. high dribbling. Um, Let's have a look at Klitsch. I think it's, will Klitsch have good speed? I don't know, he's not massively uh, mobile, is he? He's no. mobile enough, but in comparison to an OK and a Vieira, yeah. imagine it's not, but then look at that, his stats with the ball. His yeah. passing's better, his dribbling's better, his control of the ball's better. So, uh, but again, a player we've not really seen much of. No. But when we have, he's looked okay. Yeah. Okay. Connor Shaughnessy, uh, young lad, uh, of course. No issues there. Plenty of room for development. Yeah. Uh, if he has a remarkable season, who knows? He might jump up a few, fair few uh, spots. And Grot, well, obviously, uh, <clears throat> you'd hope that his strength would be strong. 87, yeah. There we go. So, yeah. Quite a strong group of forwards that Leeds have got when you throw in Lasogra as well at 90. Grot's yeah. quite good as well. And I noticed this when I looked earlier, Chibitsky is good movement. So you've got mm. two strikers with good strength, then you've got him. So if you start in or whatever with Leeds, you've got someone who's decent enough but can move. His yeah. shots, shot power 63. Yeah. Could be better, but it's decent enough for a striker. Finishing 65. I should imagine he's going to get himself in position on the game anyway yeah, yeah. To, to finish them uh, I think t- we'll look at Sacco and Anita and for Anita first yeah overall those are pretty decent stats for a man who basically came on a free and you, if you'd have been offered him you'd have <coughs> absolutely taken him um, yeah. aggression's not too bad I actually thought that would be less he strikes me as a very calm and composed character that's has shown his, his composure great uh, a bit agility and balance overall a pretty decent defender but put as a right back yeah, he's um, central defensive midfielder, left back, right back, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, so yeah. I think it is he can kind of play any of them. We're not quite sure which one's his best position yet, but Leeds have been using him more as a full back, as yeah. a right back, as a left back. But decent overall, decent. And finally, had his sacco. Um, his at home. Where's his where's his pace? Next one along. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, nineteen ninety one. Ninety one. Expected. So uh, Pretty decent. that's their dribbling. So let us know, obviously, what you think about the Leeds uh, FIFA 18 stats, obviously, as we have them uh, one week on from the FIFA 18 release. It's now, our FIFA Friday. Yeah. It's yeah. our FIFA Friday. Unless you're not watching us on a Friday, in which case yeah. it's redundant, but, yeah. you know, whatever. All right, well, anyway, we're going to choose... Um, we've chosen that uh, kind of our teams. I think I might make... Maybe, I think because they're similar, I might make a change or two. I might. So we can mix it up a bit. I have Sacco on the bench. Uh, see you, Connor. And you know what? We haven't seen enough of Chibitsky. On you come. Oof. Not starting. I'm not starting. No, all right, fair enough then. Uh, so we've got yours is Lonergan, Aylin, Janssen, Cooper, oh, Berardi, uh, Phillips, O'Kane, Rufus, Saez, Alioski, and yeah. Lasogra have gone. Viedvald, Aylin, Janssen, Cooper, Berardi, Click, Vieira, Hernandez, Saez, Alioski, Lasogra up front. So. Cool. Lots of variation, lots of variation, lots of potential for little changes. Right, let's get into it then, Tom. Yes. First yes. ever game of FIFA 18. This Remember, you're, you're white and I'm... In How did I miss from there? I have no idea. Let's and again. Hope. I missed. Oh, no. Oh, so oh you skipped it. It's annoying me. Yeah, annoying to... me. Oh. We're both rubbish at it. We're just going to get ourselves down, aren't we? You're rubbish. The East Point Arena. Wait, for which Legion. one's which? Leeds United v Leeds United. You saw that Spider Man meme. Oh, look at the flag thing and the banners. It's Leeds cool, are fifth as well. They are fifth. Accurate table. Accurate table. Feels nice to be up to date with everything. Leeds shirt looks nice. You can even see the detail of you the can Leeds. You see the Leeds United. United. 
That is very nice. Who's that? Slasogger, isn't it? Don't look like him. In fact, I want to see Alioski's hair. Is it as <clears throat> ridiculous? Aileen's man bun is there. Look at them all being all nice. Cause Bayradi, looking there good. He is. Where's Alioski there? Oh, they've got his hair pretty they've well. They've got it. They've got it. There we go. Hashtag socks. Right, let's get on with it. Good, good lord. Right. Trainer off. Right, here we go then. Oh, hang on. That was the first time I've ever seen a, a, key, yeah, a FIFA yeah. kickoff with just one person. Yeah, I've only found you can pass it backwards. I mean, I've only played like one game and a bit of the demo. I think you can't, you're not legally allowed to, are you? Hey, you can pass it forward, sorry. Because you can go in any direction, I think, can't you now? Oof. Oof. So overall, Tom, what have you made of Leeds? We're into the second international break now. Overall, their first few games, of course. Uh, good. Good overall. Uh, I think it's easy to lose kind of track of the bigger picture after a very bad week against uh, Cardiff on Wednesday. Uh, bad performances as well, of which I think is more irritating. Um, hello. Um, but yeah, you've got to look. Leeds, as, it's, as we saw there, are fifth at the table. They're doing very well. Uh, you can't complain too much. You're just hoping that this car, well, the international breaks come at a good point. A uh, good time to kind of sort through these mistakes, these errors that they need to address. There you go. There's your composure from Luke Aylin. Some more as well. So Leeds versus Leeds. Uh, the next time we will be bringing you a Leeds United live commentary, uh, it will be... Actually, I don't know. Who, who Reading. Oh, yeah, Reading on yes. a, a Saturday. Yap Stam's Sidewards Reading. Uh, what a laugh they should be. Oof. Struggling they are, Reading. Well, there's, uh, yeah, there, there was sort of similar shouts at this point last year for them, but you know I think they'll work it out. They'll be all right. No, hopefully Danny not. was saying they've got major problems at this point last year. Yeah, but they're, they're just boring. I'm surprised they're by tedious. Janssen's speed on this game. Oh, he's just he just gets in, doesn't he? Out of nowhere, it's annoying to play against. It's good if you you're playing with him. Oh, Berardi. Oh, <sighs> difficult this. Get Ailing go. Get Ailing. Away. Wow, there we crossing's go. Crossing's different. It's, it's odd, isn't it? You know what I mean? Why is the referee wearing purple? I can't wait for so many comments to be saying, oh, you know, I can't, you're, you're terrible at FIFA 18. Well, well we are. Try, try and, you, you can work at Radio Yorkshire. You can play FIFA Stop then. Stop offering everyone jobs. Yeah, did I this on start, your I, little uh, I need to start doing that. rugby uh, preview. Oh, I can't believe I won that. <laughs> so <laughs> happy. Oof. Pierre-Michel Lasaga has been a fantastic addition so far, it seems. Yeah. Done really well, come in, hit the ground running, really. Uh, even when he's not scoring, he's working hard. It's great to see uh, for someone who... Oh, how's he got injured? What have you done to him? I don't know. I uh, have to bring on Chibitsky a bit early. Oh, you can do quick subs. How? Uh, you see that R2? I'm not doing that. And then you press OK and it does it on the suggested sub. OK. OK. All okay. oh, right. OK. Do you see what I did there? I did yeah. a leads thing. Yeah, why would he come on up front now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pablo... Oof. Well done, Lonergan. Oof. You prove why you're the number one and <laughs> Viedvold isn't. <laughs> oh dear. Right, uh, 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 well, that's that's the thing as well. Would you? Do you think there is an issue with goalkeeper? There is, but it's how do you manage it? Uh, uh, bring back Rob Green? No. Uh, <laughs> I know there's a, there's an LS11 with Mark and Redders where Mark asks Redders, how do you deal with it? And it's a difficult one because it's not like a midfielder who can just drop him for a game and that's fine if you drop a goalkeeper it's a serious message and it's a serious oh, <gasps> oh it's a serious message isn't it it's a serious kind of showing that there is an issue so it's a difficult one to manage um, I'm not sure it's just a confidence issue with him isn't it do you think so I think so yeah because there's obviously you're not confident enough if you're not coming for balls right in front of you you know what I mean like the Wednesday goal the first one it's like, well, obviously, there's something there because you don't play for the likes of Werder Bremen by accident. You don't play in the Bundesliga by accident. So there's something there. I think it's just a confidence issue to try and get it out of him. There you go, Aylin's here again. Oh, oh tackle, great tackle. Brady. Not so good <laughs> from me there. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's oh, done him. Oh, he's got past him. Oh, no. What's happening? Oh, oh. I think corners are the same this year. There they are. Don't forget, let us know what you think about the uh, FIFA 18 stats for Leeds United. 
Away. Oh, oh, clear it's it. Gone. You, oh, you clown. <laughs> Who is that? Was that. Okay, nothing. You then. That's not okay. Uh-huh. Using your joke now. Shut up. It's too easy. Okay, so um, so far, what's been the most positive thing? I mean, we we all know what's going on about the off field and everything that's going on. Uh, the positives behind the club, but yeah, on field, what's been the most positive thing for you? Um, just the attacking side of the team, and that they do have some real talent up front. You're looking at size, Alioski, the Hernandez when you throw him in as well, and it's helped Hernandez the fact that oh. <laughs> Wow. Talking of talent, talking of Samuel Saiz. Oh, now I'm going to have to get this corner. Bam. Was that Sam? No. Oh, oh it gosh, is? Yeah. That's what I mean. Don't talking about like the him. attacking flair and a highlight. Really that's a like highlight him. for me. I don't look like him at all. Woohoo! Look at the distraught Leeds fans that Leeds have scored against them. Look <laughs> at this. Bam. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Have it. No chance for Lonergan. No chance. Go enjoy your kickoff. Look at that. It's different. It was a lovely game. A uh, lovely goal, to be honest. It was. You don't yeah, stop. I, I, you've stunned me in silence. You don't stop those. You don't stop those. get back into it but yeah that's probably been the highlight the size Alioski Hernandez combo really and I think there's less pressure on Hernandez now because size and Alioski are there and it's bought out a bit better in him and when they get going they can really get going I think they're just well, tweedled on tweedled they yeah. just get an absolute pleasure to watch and it's really good to see that from a Leeds team and those being four Leeds and not against them so <laughs> probably yeah big highlight for me that big big highlight and you know bad week but oof you trust that they can recover from it yeah. and bounce back against Reading. You'd hope so. For me, it's um, it's actually been sort of the fact that, for instance, Liam Cooper and Union O'Kane, players that were kind of in this squad, have if anything improved under Thomas Christensen. Yeah, yeah, it's been a big, uh, it's been a pleasant surprise, hasn't it? Really. Um, oh come on, Luke! Luke. Come on, Luke Ayling. Oof, take the corner, take the corner. Um, yeah, and that's really refreshing to see. You know, we're talking about Leeds' defensive issues really at the start of the season. We were worried um, that they hadn't done enough in the window. But yeah, Liam Cooper's come in, apart from the stupidity at, at Cardiff. Uh, it's been very good, very positive. And yeah, it's hopefully you imagine it, it should continue as we go on, as the season goes on. Where are you going here? Oof. When that. Nah, no way. Edit. There we go. Oh, he's letting him get through there. Oh, what are you doing? It's an interesting battle at both ends of the pitch, isn't it? Janssen <laughs> versus Lasaga. <laughs> I might have done him here with one long ball. Oh! <laughs> Felix Where's the follow-up? Felix needs to do more of them. I know. Oh! Ho, ho. I like the realistic kind of rolling around a bit more on this game. Because you do see it so much in football. Yeah. Oh, good half. You're going to score there as well. Aren't you? Nah, well. Good. Nah. First half. Very good. Very One nil leads. Very good. Very good. One nil leads. Here. What else is uh, going on in the world of Leeds United? Um, not much. Not much. It's That's just... the thing about. Oh, I don't know why I'm going instantly. I don't know. You want to watch goal again? Fair enough. No, but, no. Um, I think it's just the. How to put it? The kind of negativity following a bad week and it's not the results it's more the performances from it I think that people are more annoyed about but like I said it's oh. so easy to lose kind of a, a, the look at the bigger picture the fact that Leeds are flying really they're still in the top six they're still within touching distance of the top two it's early days and if you can just stay there or thereabouts all season of course you're going to be alright so yeah discipline. what is that oh, and it hit Le Stogger as well <sighs> dearie me Um yeah, that's that's it. And it's just the international break, isn't it? But although we sit, we sigh at it and all that, but I think it's come at a really good time for Leeds. After yeah, I think week. obviously that that's a great time to come in because it's it's a break away from that negativity. You could yeah. say. Yeah, gives time to work. Oh, work on these little mistakes as well. Whatever they need to get out of the game, and I think it's just. Oh, oh that would have been a lovely goal. I think it's just defensive kind of. 
switching off at times, just yeah. not being organised, not being aware. Playing a lot from the back at recently, oh, haven't it's they? So annoying at times. So annoying. It's good when you've kind of got the, uh, oof, you've got the kind of the goal advantage or something. Yeah, maybe. and you, you're playing well. It's when you're not playing well. It's like stop putting pressure on yourself. But oh, great I don't know. I, I just can't see him getting rid of it out of that game. And like I said, it works when you, you're in command and you're in, you you know, you're confident it's going well. But oh, oh, oh. oh Grey Bear defending Janssen. Ah, oh, good defending. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do here. Ah, oh, I chop him down. It's not worked. No. Oh. Right. What a ball. Oof. Came out roof. What have you thought of his uh, start to the season? Uh good, good. I think they just kind of. I think his oh. role seems better as an out-and-out -out striker. But then when they played him at Cardiff, they were trying Didn't to treat really him like well, the Sogger. Yeah. And it's not his fault, really. I think it's kind of like you can't... Oh, come on. Yeah, you can't I... just throw him in and say, do exactly what the big man does. Yeah. It don't work like that. Um, so, yeah, the, it was disappointing. But you got to look, you know, he got the hat-trick in the cup. Um, there's lots of positives to take from him. And, you know, hopefully he can kind of carry on to... Oh, touch that. And, you know... The signs are there, so hopefully he can just carry on. It's just where do you try and fit him in this team? That's the thing, and it's difficult. It is difficult, but if they are going to play him up front, they can't treat him like a Lasaga. No, he's gonna have to. You have to play to him and yeah. play to what he needs. I think uh, I'd like to see more introduction of Grot rather than just an impact sub sort of. Really, yeah, I'm not been overly impressed with him too far. Uh, so far but then you got to look at the fact that he's in a new league he's only young it's going to take time it's just how you bleed him in whether you look to ooh, to that the cup games maybe and yeah. starting him there to wrestle a saga I, I don't know oh, but there's a Leicester coming up as well that's what I mean so whether you go grot you know if he does well in training you play him <laughs> I need to sneeze oh what a terrible time don't matter I'm not going to score am I Wow, what a celebration. Thanks, man. That was dramatic. I was happy. It's my first FIFA 18 goal. Give well me done. that. Well, well done, done, Calvin. Well done, Calvin. He's impressed, actually, to be fair. You know what? There were a lot of people coming into the into the season. Very critical of him. Still are. Did it's pretty bit, well. It's a bit of an easy scapegoat. Um, Dink. Lovely. lovely goal. Lovely. Well done, Calvin. Lovely. I might make some subs, you know. Get into the 70th minute. All right, then. Let's mix it up. Let's I'll see what the other players well. are like. Mm, Pablo coming on. Uh, let's see how Chibitsky does. And one more. Stuart. Stuart Dallas. We've, of course, signed a big uh, longer-term deal. Although lots of people have. <laughs> it's Ed Leach. Yeah, Leach is giving them out willy-nilly, aren't they? But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good to see. Positive to see. Um, it's just good to see the club planning for the future. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. Chibitsky. Um, put an on. Going for it. Going for it. 3 5 2. What are you doing that for? I don't know. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> well, I do. Ah. Oh. Dink. You don't stop those. You don't stop them. Who you brought on? I brought on Pablo, Dallas, and Chibitsky. Wait, what? I, I was weirdly controlling my goalkeeper for some reason. I don't know what was happening. Did you press the uh, touch bar or something? Yeah, I might have. Oh, what a ball. That is superb ball. What a ball. Janssen with a big bit of defending here. Come on, lad. No, you missed it. Oh. oh. Could have been an easy tap in for Chubitsky first, but he touches a Leeds player, would have gone in. Go on. Get rid of him. Yes. Oh, what, what a tackle. What a tackle. What what a tackle. tackle. I even did the OK emoji. It was very, very good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Oh. Right, come on. Come on. Get over moving, you slow git. Oh, oh, that's a get to sending off, ref. <laughs> Worth a go. Worth a go. Red, pull your red out. Not even a card made and touch him. You disgrace, referee. <laughs> it's a dive. All right. 
15 to go, 1-1, one, one, Leeds versus Leeds. Thanks for joining us, by the way, on LS11. Yeah, and if uh, let us know uh, what you thought of the uh, FIFA 18 stats for Leeds United and uh, anything else you want to comment about Leeds at the moment. Let us know, actually. That's a good, that's a good question. Uh, your sort of, I don't know, is it a quarter of the way season? Not even that, really. Yeah, it's quarter, quarter of the year, really. of the season. We're 11 of games in, we're pretty much at the quarter now. Oh, great bit of football. Have you brought on Chibitsky as well? Yeah, look, this is in look my Look his ball. pace! Oh, I'm ball. Give it. Ah. Uh, gone free at the back. This could be mine doing here. Yes, come I've on, gone Stuart. brave. Come on, Stuart. Oh, oh, what a tackle again. <laughs> Both Janssen's in sensational form. Janssen v Janssen. What a battle. I thought, that, I thought the ref was one of my players. Ooh. Why is he wearing purple? <laughs> oh, I don't want this to end on a nil-nil. We'll it's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, one, one, sorry. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> we both got. <laughs> the only way up. I could have got that worse is if I'd said the wrong team. Like, oh yeah, you know, Huddersfield v Huddersfield. Yeah. No, no. Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh. Yes! Oh. What a lovely goal. Tom, give me that. That was a lovely, lovely goal. goal. Lovely goal. Three at the back. It's my undoing. It's my undoing. Yeah. Got to be brave. Scenes. One in, all in. Hashtag scenes. Look at this. Dink. Dink. Boom. Dink. Lovely. Elioski. No problem. No problemo. Part of the bus. Oh, you are a disgrace. No, I'm not a disgrace. It's fuck off football. <sighs> Boo. Well, come and, come and uh, attack then, Tom. All right. <laughs> I will try my best. Give me the ball. Oh, come on. We're all at attack. Where's the pressure? Ah. Uh. Oh. oh. Boots. Oh, boo. Oh, well, get get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Try to s <laughs> send him off. Send him off. Get him off the field. Right. Ah. Oh. Oh. East Point Arena, by the way, looking fabulous. Yeah. Leeds United's home on FIFA. Uh, that's not changed. East Point Arena. What a stadium. What a stadium. Uh, give me the ball. Let me attack. Oh. What? How is that not yellow? <laughs> oh, stop kicking it off the pitch. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he saved it. Follow up. Oh, he's missed. Oh, no, he's not. Damn it. See, can, can we both can we both try and do it that just in the chat? Three, right. two, one. They should make every <laughs> player do it on your celebration. Everyone just has to randomly do it. Hey, it would be the most FIFA thing ever though if he edited it onto the bar. Oh, there. I know, yeah. Make sure I'm still parking the bus. <laughs> I'm scared. Run, run at him, run, run. But, oh, that's a straight red for what? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, you take that applause, Calvin. Well done. Well, I, I had fun. I like FIFA ain't here. I prefer it. I had fun. <laughs> I Fair. really did. And if, if if that's anything to go by, I am more deadly on FIFA 18 than I was in 17. I, know, I like. I prefer it. It just feels a better game to play. It feels the movement looser. Feels, yeah, the movement feels more realistic. I quite like it. Four well, different goal scorers as well. Is that more real? Is that a realistic um, goal score between Leeds beat Leeds? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Yeah. Who'd do better, Leeds or Leeds? I've ran this joke into the ground. Leeds I? away. My Leeds, I reckon, stronger on FIFA anyway. If we simmed it, I probably would have won. But I'm rubbish. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the international break. And don't worry, Leeds United Live will be returning very, very shortly. We bring you live commentary of the game against Reading. But until then, have yourself a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Bye, everyone.